I come in here, I come here, and mm -hmm. what my hands do, they are just checking to see if you have any unnecessary pressure through your neck area. Mm -hmm. And if you, I ask you to follow my hands, I put my hands there, and I can do several things to them. But I'm going to ask you, well, you've already done what I wanted to ask you to do, so I guess <laughs> we'll, we'll go on breath. from there. You've got, got a bit of a breath, mm -hmm. and that released a, a lot of tension or tightness. Maybe I better call it tightness right here. So if you can do that by yourself, I figure out that if I help you once more, you can get a little more freedom here. And as I do this, you just follow my hands. And let's turn your head. And let's turn it the other way. And as you turn it that way and this way, what's happening to your breathing? Um, I took some deep breaths, I suppose. Is that, is that a result? Do you enjoy that feeling? What does it feel like? Probably it doesn't feel like anything. Well, I could guess that I'm breathing more rapidly than I was, but I don't know why that oh, is. Oh, yeah, that's right. But that's because of some of the tension that you had here. Mm -hmm. I've helped you release it, and that has given you more freedom to move yourself. That's quite a bit different, isn't it? Well, I wasn't doing this before, so I don't have a comparison. That's right. You didn't know what it was you were doing before, but I did. <laughs> so you moved a little bit, and now let's see you just move forward from your hips. Wait a minute. What was for, for you didn't even let me finish. <laughs> Tell him what I, you, I wanted you to do. Okay. See? So, this moves very easily. Now, wait a minute. This moves with my hands. Mm -hmm. My hands are not doing very much, are they? No. So, just this little tiny bit is all you need. Now, let's move from your hips. And your head's going to continue and just forward. turn your hips around and let them let them move up. There you are. What does that do for you? Then if I come down here as you are moving mm -hmm. this wait a minute. See you don't you don't wait to hear what I want to say, but you better. Okay. Uh -huh. So you can move your head a little bit in an upward direction in such a manner that this part begins to get some freedom first. And you may not even notice the move. And then as I come here with this, this moves you up a little bit and it goes, gets your whole body moving up this way. And now that's opening up the space for your lungs to need and your breathing apparatus. Can any of you see his breathing apparatus moving? Mm -hmm. Now what does that feel like to you? See what well, I... Well, it feels like I've switched from uh, abdominal breathing to chest breathing. All right, so you... Which I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. Well, sure it's a good thing. Oh, well... See, this, and 
that's going to gradually give you some freedom through these whole shoulder joints. So that you'll be having some flexibility and ease of moving your whole arm as you move up this way. And it's very delicate. Sometimes it's so delicate you hardly see it because we're dealing with movement. We are not dealing with positions to hold. No, that's what struck me this morning. It looked like a lot of people were walking around frozen up. That's right. As though they were trying to maintain. Something. That's right. And we're not, ta we're not talking about positions. We're, talk we're talking about movement, about flexibility. And to get rid of the tension, you're going to have to 